The new model rides on the same wheelbase as the fastback regular Panamera, there will be no long wheelbase executive iteration. It's neither longer nor taller, but the roofline is elongated, providing additional rear seat headroom and a slightly larger luggage compartment. Below its skin, the Panamera Sport Turismo offers most of the regular model's powertrain options, but all-wheel drive is standard. The entry-level model will be the 330-horsepower Panamera 4, the 440-horsepower 4S is one step up, and there will be a turbo model with 550-horsepower. Friends of electric mobility may opt for the 462-horsepower Panamera 4 Hybrid Sport Turismo. What's missing is a Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo. But don't fret, we hear that such a 680 horsepower range topper will be added to the lineup sooner rather than later. While the regular Panamera, thanks to its large hatch, already is more practical than most luxury sedans, the Sport Turismo widens the gap. There is simply nothing else like it on the market. Audi's A7 is significantly smaller inside and based on the A6, a car positioned a class below the Panamera. The same is true of the Mercedes-Benz CLS and it's not for the US shooting brake version, which will be killed in the next model generation. The Tesla Model S is similarly large, but that electric dragster slash limousine plays in a class of its own. Some customers may cross shop the Mercedes-AMG E63 wagon. The main reason to opt for the Panamera Sport Turismo won't be the added space, although it offers a three-place back seat which can be reduced to the Panamera's standard 2, 1 cubic foot more cargo capacity than the standard model with its seats raised, and 3 cubes more with the rear seats folded.